Hi, it's Chris Titley and today we're joined by Peter Luneman, Managing Director of National Tyre and Wheel. Peter, thanks so much. Hi Chris. National Tyre and Wheel are a wholesale business operating in Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. Can you give us a bit of a background of the business? Sure, you're sure. I think it's a, a great story of successful entrepreneurship, Chris. Uh, it was started by Terry and Suzanne Smith in about 30 years ago. Terry's a second generation Thai guy and um, he was operating a retail shop in uh, Maruka in Queensland on the road to Ipswich. Um, he had a couple of insights that proved to be very powerful. The first was that the four wheel drive part of the vehicle fleet would grow faster than the rest of the fleet and that if he could find a tyre that was suitable for those kinds of vehicles, he could carve a niche for a new brand that had never been here before. Um, he set out to find such a product and he went over to the United States, found Cooper, which was a renowned four-wheel drive tyre, uh, ne negotiated the uh, right to import and distribute that exclusively in Australia, brought it back to Australia. The uh, tyre lived up to its reputation and it proved to be um, a great uh, product for this new emerging part of the vehicle fleet. The second insight was that um, it, it basically d uh, arrived from a dysfunction in the retail sector, which is to say that um, retailers uh, can generally buy any product from any supplier. The suppliers think that they are the most important part of the, the value chain. So uh, that's very annoying for a retailer to think that they can um, get any product they need and, and become a price taker. So uh, the other insight was if we dealt exclusively with retailers, they would help us uh, build this new brand and reciprocate uh, the work we were doing to get consumers to pull it through by pushing it through if we gave them some territorial exclusivity. Both those ideas proved to be accurate and prescient, so uh, it was the case that four-wheel drive vehicles did grow faster. Uh, the retail network did support our efforts to build this new brand, and today Cooper is one of the leading four-wheel drive brands in the country. Uh, we've gone from those humble beginnings to a business that today employs uh, nearly 180 people, uh, 18 distribution centres operating throughout uh, three countries, Australia, New Zealand and, uh, and um, South Africa with uh, you know, revenues of about 155 million. People may not know the, the Cooper brand and also the other brand that you have, Mickey Thompson. Can you talk about why they're different to other brands? Sure, thanks Chris. Um, look, the, um, when you go into a tyre shop and look at a tyre, the tread you see, the, the blocks and the gaps between the blocks and the sipes that stop you sliding around on the, in the wet, uh, represent about 30% of the performance of a tyre. The other 70% are things you can't see. It's in the carcass construction, the nature of the belts and the cords that are used to hold all that rubber together, and the compounding that's used. I mean, it's actually complex industrial chemistry a tyre. It contains oil, uh, carbon black, rubber, synthetic rubber, silica, and it's how you combine all of those ingredients that will dictate how the tyre performs. So first and foremost, uh, our major brands, Cooper and Mickey Thompson, are the latest generation of tyre technology incorporating elements that are in tread design, carcass construction and compounding that uh, deliver outstanding performance. So that, that's what sets them apart. You mentioned before the four-wheel drive market and also the SUV market, maybe growing above system growth to other um, categories. Can you talk about that market? Sure. Uh, look, it's a very big market, uh, the tyre and wheel market in particular. The, uh, in Australia alone, it's about a $5.1 billion retail value of industry. Uh, so it's very, it, you know, if you're going to succeed in business, you have to find something that you can do well at. You have to find a niche where you can be in a leading position. So you have to segment down, you know, the 19 million tyres that get sold in, in Australia to the sort of passenger uh, four drive SUV like commercial fleet. Um, and we, we made a decision very early on that we would focus on things that we could be in a leading position at. So uh, the four-wheel drive fleet basically breaks down again into um, smaller segments like luxury, cab chassis, large four-wheel drive, compact four-wheel drive. And once you start segmenting like that, you can actually find uh, something to say to the people who own those vehicles. So you can start having those conversations with consumers. Uh, as I mentioned at the outset, Terry's, um, Terry Smith, the founder of the business, his idea was that that part of the fleet would grow faster and that's proved to be the case. It still is. Um, people think that uh, the SUV component of the fleet will be the largest by 2020. And in our category of products, uh, a category of vehicles we address, the compound annual growth rate over the past four or five years has been north of 9%, which is faster than the rest of the fleet. Peter, you're a wholesaler, but you also have customers that know the, the Cooper brand. How do you engage with those customers or, or talk to those customers? Yes, yeah, so look, in the industry, it's generally the responsibility of the importer to manage the consumer-facing communications. Uh, we 
need to address the market by having consumers pull our product through the value chain while at the same time getting our customers, the retailers, to embrace it and recommend it. Um, our research in, in the last few years has indicated that uh, the purchase pathway is changing considerably. You don't get a lot of e-commerce uh, for tyres, that, by that I mean people buying tyres online, but uh, our research says that 95% of people are doing something online before they get into a tyre shop. And this is quite a big change in the way tyres have been purchased because historically people would just go to the shop, be influenced in their purchase decision uh, by the retailer at the point of sale. So our approach to talking to consumers today is to try to interrupt them well before they get into the shop. Everybody is competing on the basis of customer experience. Uh, we need to deliver our consumers a seamless customer journey. So uh, we're actually trying to um, get them more engaged in the purchase, ask, get them to ask questions about how to differentiate tyres on by looking at tread carcass and compound and having our retailers have that came, same conversation with them so that you end up with this seamless journey, people are more engaged, they're more satisfied and we become renowned as brands that help facilitate that journey rather than sort of get in the way of it. Peter, thank you so much for the chat. Thank you very much, Chris.